the Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Acknowledging the great desire and need to be healed, we turn to the Lord for his mercy, his compassion. For at times we may have failed to listen to the voice and to follow the call. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who grant us by glorious healing the remedies while still on earth to be partakers of the things of heaven, guide us, we pray through this present life, and bring us to that light in which you dwell. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prof A reading from the prophet Micah With shepherd's crook, O Lord, lead your people to pasture, the flock that is your heritage, living confined in the forest, with meadow land all around. Let them pasture in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as in the days when you came out of Egypt. Grant us to see wonders. What God can compare with you? Taking fault away, pardoning crime, not cherishing anger forever, but delighting in showing mercy. Once more, have pity on us, Tread down our faults to the bottom of the sea, throw all our sins. Grant Jacob your faithfulness and Abraham your mercy, as you swore to our fathers from the days of long ago. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord is compassion and love. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. The Lord is compassion and love. It is he who forgives all our guilt who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The Lord is compassion and love. His wrath will come to an end. He will not be angry forever. 
he does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. The Lord is compassion and love. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. The Lord is compassion and love. place and go to my father and say father I have sinned against heaven and against you glory and praise to you Lord Jesus Christ the Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Glory, Glory to you, to you o Lord. Lord. The tax collectors and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say. And the Pharisees and the scribes complained. This man, they say, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them. A man had two sons. The youngest said to the father, Father, let me have the share of the estate that will come to me. So the father divided the property between them. A few days later, the younger son got together everything he had and left for a distant country where he squandered his money on a life of debauchery. When he had spent it all, that country experienced a severe famine, and now he began to fill the pinch. So he hired himself to out to one of the local inhabitants who put him on the farm to feed the pigs. And he would willingly have filled his belly with the husk the pigs were eating, but no one offered him anything. Then he came to his senses and said, How many of my father's paid servants have more food they want? And here I am dying of hunger. I will leave this place and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as one of your paid servants. So he left the place and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was moved with compassion. He ran to the boy, clasped him in his arms, and kissed him tenderly. Then his son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a fing ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the cuff we have been fattening and kill it. And we're going to have a feast, a celebration, because this son of mine was dead and has come back to life. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Now the eldest son was out in the fields, and on his way back, as he drew near the house, he could hear music and dancing. Calling one of the servants, he asked what it was all about. Your brother has come, the servants replied, and your father has killed the cuff we have fattened because he has got him back safe and sound. He was angry then and refused to go in, and his father came out to plead with him. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I have slaved for you and never once disobeyed your orders, yet you never offered me so much as a kid for me to celebrate with my friends. But for this son of yours, when he comes back 
after swallowing up your property, he and his women. You killed the calf we have been fattening. The father said, My son, you are with me always, and all I have is yours. But it was only right that we should celebrate and rejoice because your brother here was dead and has come to life. He was lost and is found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We draw close to the week. And the whole experience of the readings and the reflection this week takes us to the whole experience of who God is in our lives. We started off on the mountain of Tabor, the Transfiguration. And the voice from the clouds was, This is my son, the beloved, listen to him. And throughout this week, in the given texts and the given narrations of the gospel, you find Jesus instructing, admonishing, opening up avenues for the disciples and the listeners to make that change in their path in the second week of Lent. And yesterday we found ourselves the whole experience of God who never gives up, a God who relentlessly continues to search to seek the one that is lost. God never stops the patient endurance of God in seeking out the people. Today we get a deep image of this God, the God who is compassion, the God who is merciful, the God who is love. I guess we all have grown accustomed to the readings of the gospel text, the prodigal son or the prodigal father. And yet at times we find the freshness of the text of who God is in our life, the unconditional mercy of God. The whole mercy of God that keeps on seeking and seeking. And yet God never gives up. The only point that we need to find is simply this. The young man who was out in this world came to his senses and stood up and returned back. How often do we come to our senses during this one week? In spirituality, they call this the awakening. The awakening of oneself to realize, I need to make a change. I need to step out of my old life. I need to return. I need to seek God again. This awakening is a moment when you begin to find the stirrings in our lives. That whole stirrings that the Lord invites us. And God waits, God waits and God seeks and God looks for us. And the beauty is it doesn't matter where you are at the end of that rope. There is always hope. There is always hope because God will always be with us. Let us step into the table of the Lord knowing that the week of listening has come to an end. And it's all about how we have responded to that door. Either we've been open or closed to the voice of the Lord. Blessed are you, God of all creation, to give us with this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to give us with this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the sacred gifts we pray, O Lord, may our redemption yield its fruits, restraining us from unruly desires, and leading us always towards the gifts of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will, will be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Give us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. We'll offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You must rejoice, my son, for your brother was dead and has come to life. He was lost and is found.
Let us pray. May your divine sacrament, Lord, which we have received, fill the inner depths of our heart, and by its working mightily within us, make us partakers of its grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Franciscan scholar has arrived. The Master is here. Please do join us this morning at 10 a.m. for the Lenten Reflection and Recollection, St. Francis and the Way of Lent, 10 a.m. this morning. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> A prayer for Lenten grace. Loving God, during the sacred season of Lent, bring me closer to you. Prepare a place in my home and heart for silence and solitude, so that I may rediscover the grace of a prayerful life. Help me to fast from those things that threaten the well-being of body and soul and remind me of the grace of simplicity. Enlarge my heart so that I give to those in need and in so doing, rediscover the grace of gratitude and generosity. May this season be a grace-filled time to rekindle my love and faith in you. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and stay safe. Same, Same to, to you, Father. Father.